Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through some stuff that uh, is coming into the store. And uh, to be honest, I've actually been cur curtain twitching this week, um, waiting for this stuff to arrive and uh, waiting for the postman or you know, the delivery guy to bring this to me. And uh, yeah, quite exciting stuff. And um, you, you're probably going to guess what it is, obviously, just from the front thumbnail that I'm going to use anyway. But um, let's just dive right into it and go into it. Obviously, it's a He-Man collection. This is all boxed. Um, and this is the uh, well, this is the reprint of of He Man, so it's, it's not the original one from the eighties, obviously. Uh, well, not necessarily, obviously, but um, but yeah, we're gonna go through it anyway and uh, see what's inside and and just um, just kind of reminisce and be nostalgic, I guess. So uh, here we go. So this is the first one. We've got the Masters of the Universe Battle Armor Skeletor. This is actually a deluxe edition, and uh, the difference with the deluxe edition is that it comes with the extra uh, sort of head and uh, hands and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so you can see he's got his staff and um, shield, sword and all that sort of stuff. Really cool. And as you can see, you know, mint mint condition, still got their um, hangrail tabs in them as well. And uh, this is the back. Pretty cool artwork. Very cool. Alright, so the next one we've got is of course He-Man himself. And again, this is another deluxe edition. Uh, pointed out by the fact that he's got heads, hands and a couple of extra bits of it. And um, there you go. As he's, uh, is that his blast? Is that, does that blast? Does he blast that from his hand or something? Um, or his chest? But anyway, yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually the, the most uh, knowledgeable of A Man Masters of the Universe, so you'll have to forgive me. But again, yeah, really, really nice condition. Uh, next one, we have the Clamp Champ. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, this again, another deluxe edition. He's got his clamp with him, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. I th I'm assuming he can hold, hold that, yeah. Um, so yeah, really cool toy. And just, uh, I think he's one of the bad guys, isn't he? The, the clamp champ? Uh, I forget though. Next one uh, is the Ram Man. And uh, again, really nice edition. This is a d deluxe edition because uh, it's got the extra head. I keep saying that, but I'm just going to point it out. <laughs> uh, again, and I think this is one of the bad guys as well, right? Uh, but anyway, there you go, the Ram Man. Pretty cool. And then uh, we've got some non-deluxe edition ones and this will kind of show you the difference between the deluxe edition and the non-deluxe edition ones uh, so this is buzz off clearly obviously one of the bad guys really cool uh got like pincers for for claws uh, for hands uh yeah uh, we've got anti eternia he-man uh, i think he's like a bad guy of he-man is he um we've got proper action swinging action very cool next one we've got is Fisto. Uh, he's got his massive fist glove there. Non deluxe edition. Uh, and then we've got Jitsu right there as well with his uh, gold glove. So, yeah, those are non deluxe edition uh, figures. And um, let's just move those over there very quickly. Now we're starting getting into the really interesting stuff. So, uh, we're going to go through these. This is Stridor, Strider. Uh, as you can see, really, really big box. And, uh, you know, He-Man would ride Strider. And um, Battle Skeletor and the Cat. Uh, I can't remember what the name of the cat is. Probably on the back of this, actually. But, yeah, really cool toy if you have a look in there. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to open these because, uh, you know, they're, they're still sealed. Um, but just a really, really cool, chunky vehicle toy. And, they, you know, you don't really get things like this anymore these days, do you? Uh, next one we've got is the Wind Raider. Again, a, another absolutely huge, huge vehicle. Um, He-Man would sit in that and fly around, presumably. Uh, let me see if I can get you onto the back. Uh, there we go for focuses. And that's what the... Uh, what was this called? The Wind Raider. Yeah, Wind Raider. That's what the Wind Raider looks like. Fires missiles. I think it goes along as well. Sits on top of Castle Grayskull. Very cool. All right. Next one is the Skeletor Landshark. Another really cool looking one. And uh you know this this just really this really reminds me of like you know retro action figures. It's just such a retro looking uh, vehicle. Like who on earth would make these now, you know? Um but yeah, really cool nonetheless. And there's the back of it. The battle cat, that's what I was talking about. And then you've got the Panther as well. Uh but there you go. I'm trying to be careful with these, so you have to you have to kind of bear with me as I uh, slowly move these around. But 
uh, and the last vehicle that we've got is the Prince Adam Sky Sled. And uh, yeah, this is <laughs> everybody. <laughs> everybody will recognise this guy from that song. I'm not going to sing it, so don't even ask. But I'm sure you guys know what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Prince Adam Sky Sled. And uh, there you go. That's what it looks like on the back. Some really cool artwork on the back too. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to sing the song. But come on, let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but yeah leave us a like guys if you're enjoying the video and of course we're not going to end this video without showing you the grand masterpiece of the whole set and uh, i'm not even sure i'm going to be able to get this into uh into shot properly actually so um hold on let me just move some of these around <laughs> yeah um but yeah really cool i've been really looking forward to receiving these all week and um you know when you get sort of toys like this come in it's you know it's it's really exciting to sort of see, you know, because, uh, you know, He-Man's not really something that you see very often anymore, especially in boxes and stuff. And, you know, I know that these are the reprints, but, um, yeah, nonetheless, still really, really cool. Uh, let me just move these last one. Well, I think I should be okay. Let me just move those over here. All right. Okay, the last piece. I might just edit this bit out, actually, and cut it out. So, uh, if I do. But here we go. So, this is, of course... The Castle Grey Skull, and what an incredible box! I mean, it's unfortunately, it doesn't seem I can get it all on, all in shot at once. Let me uh, move this over, but I will slide it around just so you can see the whole box. I mean, the artwork on it is absolutely amazing. What a great shelf piece! And uh, if we flip it over on the back, oh, this is what it will look like, obviously without the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's what the Castle Grey Skull looks like. I'm not entirely sure what the pieces are that come with it. Uh, oh, it says here in the top right-hand corner what the contents are. So there you go. And I think it has a special edition figure inside as well. Uh, oh, keep knocking the uh, arm. Uh, so this special edition figure here, Sorceress. So I think she might be in the box. Um, but obviously I'm not going to open this. Uh, actually, this is the first time it's been out of the case. This was actually sent to me in the original distributor case. But um, yeah, I broke it out of that because I can't I can't show you it otherwise, you know. And obviously I can't really sell it just in a cardboard box. So I just wanted to get it out and uh, it will go back into that though and will kind of be resealed, so to speak. But um, not that, that really matters anyway. It's what's, what's inside the cans. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Really, really cool video. Really, really cool stuff here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave us a like if you did subscribe if you're new here and come back actually because i'm still curtain switching because i'm still waiting for another box to arrive and um that box will be more sort of 90s than 80s i'm not going to say any more than that but it'll be very exciting and i hope you come back so leave us a like subscribe and uh see you soon